Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given the difference amplifier circuit and here we have been given that the op -amp in the given circuit is the ideal op -amp. So here we have been asked to find the common mode rejection ratio or the CMRR of the given difference amplifier. So here before finding that, first of all let us find the expression of the output voltage in terms of these two input voltages and to find that. First of all, let us consider one of the voltage source at a time. So here, if we just consider this input voltage V in 1, then in that case, this V in 2 will act as a short circuit. So in this condition, if we see the output voltage, then let's say that is equal to VO1. And it can be given as minus RF divided by R1 times input voltage. So in this condition, this output voltage VO1 is equal to minus 101 divided by this 10.5 kilo ohm times V in 1. So this will be the output voltage of the given circuit when this V in 1 is acting alone. Similarly, when this V in 2 is acting alone, then this V in 1 will act as a short circuit. And in this condition, this given difference amplifier will act as a non-inverting amplifier. And in that case, let's say, this output voltage is equal to VO2. So that can be given as 1 plus RF divided by R1 times V plus, where the V plus is the voltage at this node. So in that case, this output voltage is equal to 1 plus this 101 divided by 10.5 times V plus. Or we can say that this VO2 is equal to 1 plus this 101 divided by 10.5 times 101.5 divided by 101.5 plus 9.5 times V into. So basically, that is the voltage divider between these two resistors. So further, if we simplify it, then this VO2 is equal to 9.71 times V into. And likewise, this VO1 is equal to minus 9.619 times V in 1. So in this way, we got the value of the VO1 and the VO2. And now, applying the superposition theorem, we can say that the overall output voltage, that is the V out is equal to this VO1 plus VO2. That means the overall output voltage V out is equal to VO1 plus VO2. That is equal to minus 9.619 times V in 1 plus 9.71 times V in 2. So let's say this gain is equal to A1 while this gain is equal to A2. That means here this V out is equal to A1 times V in 1 plus A2 times V in 2. Now here to find the common mode rejection ratio, we need to find the ratio of the differential gain to the common mode gain. Because as you know, this CMRR is equal to the ratio of the differential gain to the common mode gain. So here this differential gain can be given as this A1 minus A2 divided by 2 and likewise this common mode gain is equal to A1 plus A2. So just in a second I will show you how we got these two expressions. But in this expression if you put the value of A1 and A2 then this differential gain will come out as minus 9.6645. And similarly, this common mode gain AC will come out as 0 0.091. So in this way, we got the value of the differential gain and the common mode gain. And here, since we have been asked to find the value of the CMRR in the decibel, so it will be equal to 20 log of this AD divided by AC. So just by putting these two values, we will easily find the value of the CMRR. But first, let me show you how we got these two expressions. So as you know, for the difference amplifier, the output voltage V out can be given as this AD times VD plus AC times VC, where the AD is the differential gain and the AC is the common mode gain. So here, this VD is the difference between these two voltages, that is V in 1 minus V in 2, while the VC is the common mode voltage. So here, this Vc is equal to this V in 1 plus 
v in 2 divided by 2. So from this we can say that here the output voltage is equal to AD times this v in 1 minus v in 2 plus AC times this v in 1 plus v in 2 divided by 2. So now if we separate the terms of the v in 1 and the v in 2 then we can write this expression as this v out is equal to this v in 1 times ad plus ac divided by 2 plus v in 2 times this ac divided by 2 minus ad. So here this term is nothing but the a1 while this term is equal to a2. So from this we can say that this a1 is equal to ad plus ac divided by 2 while the a2 is equal to minus ad plus ac divided by 2 or from this we can say that this ac is equal to a1 plus a2 that means here if we combine these two expressions then this ad will get cancelled out and the value of the ac is equal to a1 plus a2 likewise this differential gain ad is equal to a1 minus a2 divided by 2. So in this way we got these two expressions and based on that we found the value of the ac and the ad. So earlier we have seen that this common mode gain ac is equal to 0 0.091 while this differential gain ad is equal to minus 9.6645 and here this common mode rejection ratio in the decibel can be given as 20 log of this differential gain divided by common mode gain. That means here this CMRR is equal to 20 log of this 106.2 and that is equal to 40.52 dB. So in this way we got the value of the CMRR. So from this we can say that for the given question the answer is equal to 40.52 dB. So here based on the truncation in the values for the AD and the AC your answer slightly differ but here it should be around this value. So we can say that for the given question the CMRR in the decibel is equal to 40.52.